Good afternoon, everybody. Today we are on our monthly date day, and we drove up to Springfield, about 45 minutes, an hour away from Branson, to check out the Wonders of Wildlife National Museum and Aquarium. And we're actually gonna do the museum this time, and I think we're gonna do that first, and then the aquarium. So we'll have lots of videos coming up. As you can see, the cool trout aquarium behind us. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Consider becoming a member. You got anything else there? No. We're gonna go enjoy the date day without the kids and see where the day takes us. Well, we know where it's taking us. To the museum and to the aquarium. So let's go journey out. We made it into the National Museum section of Wonders of Wildlife. So we're gonna check out the museum first and then head to the aquarium. The past couple times we've only done the aquarium so we wanted to make sure to do the museum part on this date day. And we did run into the kids. They came here too with Nana and Poppy but they were already done by the time we got here. I know the wife likes seeing them. Heading up an escalator. Lots of taxidermy animals. And you're greeted by this huge bear. Oh, it's, it's even growling at us. Roaring at us, not growling. A short-faced bear. There's a plaque underneath this bear. Feel free to pause the video. This part, first part of the museum is a lot of display cases with old artifacts. Uh, wardrobes. I don't think those are wardrobes. Don't mind me. Clothes. Edley Point. So just give you a little view once we were walking through the first part of the museum here before we get to all the taxidermy animals that you get to see, which is pretty cool. And it's a pretty big museum part. If you stopped and read everything and explored everything, you could be in here. Oh, somebody lost their thing. It could take you hours to get through here. Buffalo? Or is that a bison? Oh, there's a sign for bison there. But I was right. American buffalo here. American buffalo. And we get this dude at the end of this part. Then we're onward. Then we're heading into a tribute to our 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt's cabin. We're heading into a tribute to him, Roosevelt's cabin. Oh, this has probably got some lots of information on there. That's a lot to read. Here's some Theodore Teddy Roosevelt over here. 1858 to 1919. Here's some information throughout the years. Go slowly. Oh, I'll try to go slowly. I seem to always go fast, even if I think I'm going slow. About the different things that happen during each year. Pretty cool. Another buffalo 
buffalo head up on the wall. Then we go into another room. Send something in front of them tells you what they are so American black bear oh we got in here grizzly bear attacking some wolves the coyotes wolves it doesn't say it just says grizzly bear which is there attacking some wolves that's what I did. I first thought it was wolves he's not too happy there And they got them on both sides, so. Mule, mule deer over here. Mule deer. That's probably what they see outside our house, our apartment sometimes. Mule deer. Not sure though, some kind of deer. Watch out for that mountain lion. Hanging out in the tree. There's the plaque for it, the mountain lion. Oh, and then we'll end up down there at that giant moose down there. That pretty cool mountain lion. Then over here, we got some mountain goats. Oh, there goes my camera again. It keeps going in and out of focus for some reason. Sorry. I don't know why it's doing that lately. There's a sign, mountain goats. Then we got some brown bears down there. When we get down there, we'll get a closer view. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but Sidka? Sidka deer. Right there. Sidka? Sidka deer. Now we're heading down the stairs. Your adventure continues this way. Oh, she's taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Oh, watch out for that above your head. It's going to pounce on you. Oh no. Everybody run. What is this guy? It's too dark to tell. I'm not sure what that guy is. Do you know who he is? He's pointing him out to me. I'm not sure, but this room is supposed to be, is this like the Grand Canyon room? Arizona, I think. Maybe. No? She's not answering me. I think this is like the Grand Canyon or Arizona, the desert room. We got some javelinas. Oh no, the sign is knocked over. There's a gecko over there to go with the javelinas. The javelinas, javelina. Guess I'm not funny. Javelina. 
Oh, there's a rabbit. We got the coyote. Oh, there's where the sign says on these information of the animals. I know, but it says Grand Canyon National Park. That's where I got the Grand Canyon from. I know that it was Grand Canyon. Got some coyotes. We got the desert bighorn sheep. We got the wife somewhere. The camera keeps going. It's on autofocus, but it keeps going in and out of focus for some reason. We got some pronghorned antelope right here. I don't know. When I was back there, it was just going in and out of focus, and I wasn't even moving the camera. Right there, it didn't. But. What do we got over here? Some more mountain lions. Also don't have a sign. Oh, and some baby ones. Oh, they're attacking this lizard right here. Poor little lizard. What do we got over here? Some kind of weird looking creatures. What are these guys? Prairie dogs? I'm not sure. Not a sign for these ones. We got the Roosevelt Elk. Right there. Olympic National Park. And we got a. Is that a snail or a slug? Something like that. The Roosevelt Elk. Uh, let's go over here if we can see these guys. Some more bears. It's dark over here. Not sure how good it's going to pick it up. But... And there's one way in the back there. Hiding out. I'm going to assume these are some black bears. Here is the giant Alaska moose. That we saw from up top. And there's the side. That guy is huge. And here is the brown bear from down below. We saw this guy from upstairs too. Or at least the one back there with the fish in its mouth. There's a little plaque right there. But the brown bear. What do we got here? The American black bear. And some black bear cubs. And the mama. What's over on this side? Big horn sheep. Then we walk into a room that's got some bunch of information all on the walls. In memory of the vanishing big game of the world. And they got some more taxidermy bears. Oh, there's a polar bear over there. But then there's a wall full of elk, walrus, mule deer, moose. Bears and cats over there. A whole wall for different animal heads. Here's a one. Number one archery world record right there for that one. They got a little screen displaying some, telling some information. Check this guy out, polar bear. This guy's huge. Alaskan polar bear, it says. Oh, another record class, it says. There's some information right there. Alaskan polar bear. There's the wife checking out that bear. I don't know what it's looking at. It's looking up in the sky. Its head's looking in the sky. I guess his eye's looking at you. About the same height as you if you stood next to him? Pretty cool. 
Now we walk into another like hallway section with animals behind the glass that you can see. And on these ones, they got the information plaques. And on a lot of them, they have little fur next to them that you can touch to see what they feel like. So we got the coyote. This one's a red fox. Got some wolverines over here. One laying down, one standing up. The wolverine. North American porcupine. Oh, this one doesn't have any fur you can pet on the porcupine. Ooh, we got a snowshoe hare and a Canada lynx. No shoe hair. And my camera shadow. And my camera. And the Canada links. Oh, now we got a gray fox. I know we had a red fox. Now we got the gray fox. Gray fox. American beaver. We gotta get the beaver over there. You think that's what's in the aquarium? Is it the American beaver? I don't know why we didn't go there when we were out there. I couldn't. We got American beaver. They got some beavers in the aquarium. Kind of looks like it. I hope these weren't a beaver from the aquarium that misbehaved. Oh, this one's a muskrat. That thing? It looks like a beaver. Oh, there's a muskrat. Those little guys. What do we got over here? A diamondback rattlesnake and an American badger. There's the rattlesnake. Oh, he don't look too friendly. And the badger? Who's gonna win? Do you know who's gonna win? Here we got a bobcat. We got a groundhog right there. And we got an American marten. A key deer. There's a lot of different types of deer. This one's a key deer. The key to what? I don't know. Everybody says that same joke. There's no porcupine fur for you to touch. This is a colored... I'm not even going to try to say that. Picari? Something like that. Oh, another fox. This one's a... Kid fox. Got here. Oh, we got some skunks. Eastern spotted skunk and a striped skunk. There's one. I'm gonna assume that's eastern spotted skunk. And then we got the striped skunk. And over here, the yellow-bellied marmot. Then off to the left, we go inside another room where they got more stuff, more animals. They got antlers, an antler archway, 
and more animal heads all along that way. We're gonna go into this room, which is birds. Oh, wild turkeys right here we got. Up in the tree, down below. Don't make these guys mad, the wild turkeys. They outnumber us. And they got a screen here, touch to learn about the turkeys. Different types of turkeys there. Pretty cool. This must be like a bird room, bird's room. How do you say this? Gross? Gross? Gross or gross? I don't know. Oh, we got some chickens. Some chickens, it says. Greater prairie chicken and a lesser prairie chicken. Got some more of those. Bruce. Oh, not going to attempt to say that. Snowbirds. They like the snow. They blend in with the snow. Well, now we're going to go into this room. Welcome to Year of the Bird. Into the bird room. We got tons of birds flying from the ceiling. Gonna probably have some information along the walls. 2018, Year of the Bird. Lots of different information on the walls. If you read all this and you could be in here for hours. Hours you could be in here reading all this information. I always like how they hang them from the ceiling. So just kind of leaving the video run along for you guys so we can It's 1 o'clock already? Oh, we didn't get here until 12.30, didn't we? 12.15? Oh, nice photography pictures. <coughs> photography awards. Oh, check out the birds on the ceiling. Oh, that's a cool... That is cool right there. I always say it wrong, so is that considered a statue or a sculpture? Statue. Thanks. Oh, look, look at these lights. Bird lights on the floor. Birds flying. Little look at the bird room. Oh, is that a moose right there? Oh, look at all those antlers. Now we're into the room full of animal heads. Deer heads. Those are some huge moose. I'm gonna assume those are moose. But... White tail. What? How do they make it look like that? I don't know, it's real, isn't it? It's just tacky, taxidermy. Eyelashes, you can see. Make it up close and personal. But yeah, here's a. I'm gonna go to the corner here. Z pan around. And they got the heads of the animals on both sides of this room. And then these are. Oh, that one's a state record. It says. 
put it. 38 heads on this wall. It looks like they got names on all of them. Must have been who got them. Then they got some full ones over here. And they make it look like you're outside with the cloud ceiling. Yeah, lots of, lots of animal heads here. Buck, that one says a buck. But check out this archway, antler archway here. And check out this one right here. Made out of ant antlers. There's a plaque on this one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool room, so we'll head back and keep keep going on this museum. It's a pretty big museum. All taxidermy animals and stuff. There's some live animals, it's only the penguins. The penguins are in this museum. We're gonna be heading into Sheep Mountain, which is gonna be a little darker. So we'll see how it comes out on video, but it's going to be dark in here. But it is very coolly themed in here, the way they got their sheep. I mean, they got them up on the mountains, rocks. This is the cool room. Oh, they got a little snack cart over there with some monsters I can see. But yeah, we got a bunch of different kinds of sheeps in here. And check out even the wall. Hanging on the wall. It's way cool. Very awesome themed, awesome themed room. It is a little dark though. He's right there. It is very cool. And it's cool how they got the sheep up on the rocks and stuff. And they got these screens all over, all over in here so you can learn about them. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel subscribe check thanks for watching consider becoming a member check out all our other videos pretty cool room walking into the wife's favorite room here made it to the penguins which there are tons of people here and there's some big guys over there see if i can get in there to get some video of these penguins over there a few of them up on the rocks. There's a bunch of them swimming over there that I can't get to them. See if any come over here swimming. Oh, there's one. Say hi to us. Stay over here, dude. I'll give you your few minutes of fame. Oh, here comes some. 
and they took it off. I like it over there. This guy came over to say hi to us. Say over here. And what they look like under the water too. Penguin area. Oh, we got some sea lions over here. That's what these were. Sea lions. Dude, that one's a sea lion? That one's like triple her size. Another dark room we're in, but it is way cool, so I gotta try to get it on video. Muskox and wolves. How do you say that? Musk ox. Musk ox. Musk ox and wolves. Let's check that out and check the lights out. The lights are cool on the wall. Is that supposed to be like the northern lights? Huh? Yes. My camera's out of focus. And in focus. And out of focus. I'm doing the best I can here with this camera. Here's a walrus. Watch out for that dude. Are these guys taxidermy too? You think so? The walrus. But then we flip over here to the polar bears and a ring seal. Look at that polar bear. See if I can zoom in on the side. 1960s world record polar bear. Taken by Arthur Dubbs. 11 and a half, 11 feet, half inch tall. 2,210 pounds, Alaska. That guy is huge, over 11 feet tall. And that guy's scary looking. And the poor ring seal. The wife has left me with the polar bears. I uh, hear a TV screen. There's a draft on the TV screen. And you keep on going. I mean, this is a pretty big museum. And you walk in to a huge room full of all kinds of animals. They got the screens here too so you can learn all about them. Information on all the animals in here. Give you guys a little view of it. The painting on the wall. The wife with the elephant. Pretty cool. There's some giraffes over there, which we'll get to. We got some ostriches over here. Oh, this is my favorite place. Get into the giraffes, these big guys. And if you want to learn any, about any of these, you just click on the animal on the screen. African elephant. X. What's this guy? A warthog. So it gives you all the information about the animals as you click on it. 
Oh, do you see the shadow? It was like moving, like the wind's blowing. Oh, there's a monkey up there. The giraffes over here. Huge giraffes. Oh, camera went out of focus. Oh, draft, broken neck. Oh, camera out of focus again. Don't understand it, but monkeys up here. Some kind of monkey going through a little hut. Maybe. I try to keep it slow, but oh, we got some zebras there. Some baby zebras. pick it up on the camera but a little guy hiding back there a little guy hiding right there watch it come to life ah oh there's a stick there's a bird on that rock there the alligators these ones are crocodiles Where's the nearest screen? These ones are pointy. I was going to say that one definitely looks pointy. This one right here definitely looks pointy nose like a crocodile. But I think you're right. They're probably crocodiles. Yes, Nile crocodile. crocodile. The alligator has a more rounded nose. And we got the zebra behind. Pretty cool room here though. And then we're on to the next room. We got another dark room. So I'll do my best to get some of these. These are the lions. Got the lions. Kind of doing the camp. There's a not so happy baby coming up behind us. Some hippos. I'm gonna try to go a little, walk a little faster, but oh, here's a line. The faster I walk, though, the mess. My zoom's not working. I mean, my focus. It's the dark. Dark is kind of messing it up. This is the lion's den though. We're walking through, there's animals all over here. There's the wife. She's having a blast, as you can see. We got some javelinas. Javelinas. Hyenas. I get it right one of these times. What's that up there? Jaguar? Cheetah. Probably a cheetah. Hyena. I knew I'd get it right one of these times. Oh, you got it right for me. The lion's den. The ultimate predators. We got Bengal tiger. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Consider becoming a member. We're just having a good old time on our date day. Uh, I'm not sure. Having a fun time on our date day without the kids. Black Jaguar. Look at this guy up here. It is a big enough museum too that they do have a couple spots throughout the museum here that has restrooms too so it does have restroom stops along the way check out some of these paintings though they're incredible sound effects it's 
probably supposed to scare you right there. That guy up there is gonna get you. So much cool stuff to see though. I mean, kids don't really enjoy coming through here because it's not live animals or anything. Minus the penguins. The penguins are alive. We got a stag moose here and an American jaguar. Oh, they didn't tell us what that is. Is that a deer under there? All it tells us is the moose and the jaguar. Are they fighting? They're fighting over the dinner. Who's gonna get the deer? The dinner. Here's some cool pictures right here. So cool. Elephants. Line. I did. Mine was further down, just right there. There's no hallways to mine. We got some rhinos. Black rhinoceros. Rhinos. Two white rhinos donated by Harry M. Cornell Jr., Joplin, Missouri. Those are cool. Wife just speed walks. She speed walked away from me. Oh, that's gonna be it, eh? Now we're going to go down the glass. Oh, is she going to take the stairs so we walk by the boat? That's going to be the end of the museum. And the cool thing is, is that if you walk through the National Museum, it takes you, the exit is right into the aquarium. Oh man, look at that. There's a line to get into the aquarium. Look at the line to get in the aquarium. Over here. See the line to get into the aquarium? It's a busy day today on a Saturday as a recording to this, so hopefully we'll make it in there, but it's going to be a busy aquarium video, so pretty cool. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now heading into the Wonders of Wildlife Aquarium. We will have a bunch of videos. We just got done with the National Museum, so if you haven't watched those, go back and watch those. And if you would, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Consider becoming a member. And yes, I know, we are blue. Check out all our other videos. And right now we're going to head into the aquarium and see if we can see the otter today, the, maybe the beaver, maybe the bear. I can tell you we'll see fish. So join us and thanks for watching. Let's go inside. We made it inside the aquarium. We had to go back outside because the wife wanted to get some kettle corn. She got some kettle corn. They were selling. But we're on the lookout to see what we can see. Izzy and Miss Pam, the green sea turtles. We'll see if we can find them. Usually they're up top. Right now I'm videoing some fish just swimming around the reef area down, down below. Hand back. Let's see if we can find the three empty turtles, Izzy and Pam. We don't see them yet. But as you can see, they're up top. The fish are up top, down below. They're usually swimming in the circle, the sea turtles, but. I don't see her. Oh, well, I looked there when we came back in and she wasn't there anymore. Looking for Izzy the green sea turtle and this. Which I'm not seeing him. Right where? Oh, there they are. Well, there's at least one of them. One of them back there. Needed a break from swimming, I guess. I can't tell what, if that's the big one or the little one though. Izzy is the little one and Miss Pam is the big one. 
Yeah, looks like I think that's Izzy. The little information screen actually has their name. We figured out that last time we were here. It has the turtles' names. It'd be cool if it came over here. Oh, look at that fish came over here, though. Let it let the video roll for a little bit. It might end up being a whole part of the green sea turtle to see if it's gonna come over here. Looks like it's slowly coming closer and closer. Here it comes. Here she comes. There she is. Sea turtle. Can't tell if it's his name or if I am. Pretty cool seeing her. Seeing her at the bottom. That's probably Izzy. It has two little lumps on the back by her shell. She was caught in the We'll go over to the screen where nobody's by and I'll show you the names of the sea turtles. Yeah, it's just chilling on the bottom today. Let's go over here to the screen and click on the sea turtles. And you got Meet Izzy and Meet Pam. Oh uh, yeah, Pam. So Izzy and Pam are the sea turtles. The green sea turtles. So I don't know where Pam is, but Izzy's still just hanging out over here on the bottom. Swimming. Let's see if she keeps coming. Oh, there's her head. Can she fit through there? I see her head. She stuck. Oh, did she have to turn sideways to get through there? She's obviously looking for food. First room though, right when you would walk in. It's a pretty big circle. And they got sharks in there, little sharks, fish. The green sea turtle. I guess we should move on, otherwise I'll just stand here all day and film the sea turtle. The past few times we come, I think every time, we're usually swimming around up top. So it's kind of cool to see it up close. I think she's looking for food. She's scavenging the bottom.
I'm not sure how many fish are in there, but there's a bunch. And there's even a viewing spot of this from the bottom, which you'll see right there. That little, that's a glass bubble area. When we go down, we'll be able to see it, get a view of it from the bottom, which is cool. Yeah, there's tornado. Continuing our journey, the wall full of fish and sharks. Got some big sharks, some big fish hanging off the wall. But nothing as big as the big whale. Hanging from the ceiling with the baby whale. This tank is always cloudy. I don't remember it being cloudy when we first moved here. But look at the size of this tank here. We're up top right now. You see our my puffer fish up top anywhere? It took me a while to find the what was it? Oh, the map puffer. Not Stars and Stripe, but the map puffer fish is in there somewhere. And there's an awesome clown sugar in there. And some huge potato cocks and groupers. Huge tank though right there. Theming wall here with this huge boat, and we got a couple people fishing off of there. And look at how they did the water here. Pretty cool. They're fishing for these fish under here. That'll be a fight if they hook one. Those are pretty big. Might break their fishing pole. I don't know. Here's a, bait, a view of the big whale. And oh, there's Neil. Neil swimming down from the top. My camera don't zoom in enough. I don't know if I got it. There was a Neil. And we're gonna journey over to the glass elevator over there, or the lighted blue stairway to get down to the bottom there. We'll go down to the bottom and then we'll walk over to the Fishing Hall of Fame, walk around there, and then come up a couple escalators and end up right up there at the top. You can definitely tell it's a Saturday though. There is tons of people everywhere we go. So, there's gonna be a lot of people in these videos probably. Oh, there's the puppet right there. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get the map puffer. There he is, he's coming down low. Oh, there's Neil too. Gotta get the puffer. The map puffer right there. I found him. I wish I could get this tank a little clearer though. He's back there somewhere. And the eel disappeared. But we got some potato cods. Oh, there's an eel. Oh, there's a eel. Came out and then went back. I'm eating Jace. Jace. Don't walk away, buddy. Let's come over here to see if I can find some of the eel heads. Yeah, those are pods. Oh my goodness, it's not good. Oh, there's Neil going back in the cave right there. What? Would you name him something? I'm way down here in a 
tank goes way up there. We'll put it back in if you don't want it. It'll still have a chocolate cookie in 60. Oh, there's Theo. Swimming around right there. It's coming down. He's cruising. Here, I'll hold this and find somewhere to put it in the trash. Okay? The eel is swimming at the top of this tank. If you guys can just see it. it looks like a slithery snake. Waiting for him to come down. Here he comes. He's coming down. What? No, it was over there. It went back that way. I don't know that one. Oh, there's the eel. Is that a puffer? No, that's a puffer. That eel's acting right there. Needs its exercise, I guess. Down the clown trigger. There he is. I don't know where it's at. I'm not sure how good you can get them, but there's the clown trigger. So I saw the map puffer and found the clown trigger. My two favorite fish, puffers and triggers. He's swimming up. Bro. And there's the eel. Crazy little guys. Hover. The map hover came out again. Right before we were heading into the fishing hall of fame, the next room. The map hover came out. He knew I was waiting for it. Pretty cool. Now we're gonna head through the fishing hall of fame. I don't know where my wife disappeared to, but I'm not sure. Well, they got these little plaques here with people's face, names, the Hall of Fame honoree, what year. So I got a bunch of them. Where are you? I'm like, where are you? I thought you came this way. So, we got flags. Do you know what all these flags are? No idea what all the flags are. But this is a storm shelter. This must be a storm shelter room. I don't know how good of a storm shelter it is though, because a tornado comes through here and breaks that glass on that fish tank. Oh man. <coughs> So, little look of the Fishing Hall of Fame. And we were just up there too. Oh, focus. We were up there, and now we're down. Gotta get this cool lionfish statue here. And then in three, two, one, we gotta get the bottom of the fish tornado. Doesn't look like it's staying in circle very long right now. Now it's gonna circle. It is loud in here. That's the bottom of the fish tornado. But it is loud in this room. Moving onward. And this wall here, when you get up the escalator, is some of the different presidents' pictures of when they're taking a fishing trip. The presidents needed a break too to fish. So, pretty cool wall here. Lots of old pictures. There's a bonefish right there. President Jimmy Carter fishing with Johnny Morris. President Harry S. Truman and wife, Bess, fishing. The seal of the President of the United States. And we got the United States of America, Bass Force One. Somebody forgot their jacket. So, pretty cool little room, and now we're continuing up the next, next escalator. 
your adventure continues this way. There's that huge big whale and there is the aquarium. The huge tank. I mean the tank. We're in the aquarium. There's the huge tank. So as we're going up we'll be at the top of it. And we were down there. And now we are up here. Today's hours are 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And as you'll see in the next couple of panels we walk by, this is actually the tank that you first walk into the entrance of the aquarium where the green sea turtles are. Once we get to the next panel, you'll be able to see the entrance area. And there's a shark on the wall. Watch out for that guy. Should be able to see the entrance area from this panel right there. So that's where we I entered in to the aquarium right over there. I guess so. Oh, oh there's a turtle right there. Green sea turtles right there. Just in time. Just hanging out. Swimming around at the top. Good thing I looked up. We wouldn't have got it. Just barely moving. The turtle. Just floating around. Look at the size of that fish. We got some huge killer whales hanging from the ceiling. And now we are heading into the shipwreck room. The oasis of the ocean. And as soon as you enter in, you enter into a huge cylinder aquarium in the middle. And there's people everywhere. There's a huge cylinder tank. And there's a stingray petting area, which is full of people. People everywhere today on this Saturday. Can we find the puffer fish today that's in here? I'm leaving the video running just for a minute. Seeing if I can find the puffer fish. Not seeing them though. Gotta be in there somewhere hiding. Look at the size of that guy down there though. Man, it's loud in this room too. It's loud everywhere. Yep. Don't see the puffer. And we got this awesome tank of lionfish here. Who lives here? The red lionfish. And it's got venomous spines, so don't touch the spines. These guys will send you to the hospital. Pretty cool. some lionfish. Let's see if we can get some porcupine puffers in here. There's one. Did you guys see him? There he is. A porcupine puffer. Oh, I can't keep up with him. He's swimming fast. Oh, I can't see him now. He's gone. There was a porcupine puffer. Oh, there's one. Okay. 
And he's gone. Nobody was over at this tank, so I came over here to film some of this tank. Oh, and now they're here. There's an angel. That's the type of angel. What kind? I don't remember. They're still having their lobster meeting, their yeah. office meeting. They're still having their, their lobster meeting over here. They must light this corner. What fish is that? That's not the cowfish, is it? Almost looks like it. It's many lobsters. The flamingos from up above look like they're still trying to fly out until I hold them again. And those aren't the pink flamingos, they're called lesser flamingos, aren't they? <laughs> they weren't a pink flamingo, I remember that. And this down here. Either. Oh yeah, I know. I know. There's where the beaver exhibit is. I don't see him out from out here, so maybe we'll see him down there. Maybe we won't. But man. Well the crowd just dis disappeared a little bit, but walking in here, you could barely walk in here. The crowd was I don't know, I've ever seen that many people. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So I'm not too sure how much video we'll get in this area, but I'll try to get a little bit. The alligator pit. The swinging bridge, which there's a lot of people going across there, so we have been across there before. We'll go around it this time. I usually don't get this tank with the alligator gar. But it's a pretty dark tank. I can't even see him there. Uh, no. This wasn't the beaver. Oh yeah, fish down there. Oh look, you can see the. Is that a tunnel? That's a tunnel down there. I wonder if this is part of that tunnel. That's way down there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it looks like it can. That's a tunnel you walk under down there. I know, we always go across the bridge. Oh, there's the alligator guard right there. Right in front of me. Now it's swimming away. I wonder if this is that ledge that the stingray always swims on top of. Freshwater, oh not stingray, whip ray. We usually end up bypassing this area because we go across the bridge, but. This is where the North American River Otter is. Oh, it's just coming out. I just saw it. The light went off. It's right behind that. Is it gonna come out? Maybe there's another, what, is there another way that it can come in? I just saw it right behind there. It's right behind there. Behind this side? Yeah. You know where the entrance, where you can see that hole? It ran right behind that log. I don't know if there's another hole he can go into though. I saw it for a brief second. I thought it was gonna come out. I haven't seen it go back in that hole, so. I thought we were gonna see it, darn it. Almost. Oh, there it is. There he is. 
Potter. We got him. For a little bit. He's going over to the other side. We'll see if he comes back over there. We'll see if he comes back over here. I know as soon as there's another viewing area around the corner. But as soon as I go over there, he'll come back over here. Never afraid of that. Hey, I got him. Oh, he's doing some playing over there. Here he comes. Here he is, Mom! Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Here I see him do like a free willy and just jump under the rock. Here. Watch out for this sawfish. You don't want to get hit by that guy. And the manatees. Oh, there goes my camera. Out of focus. Focus. Come on out, buddy. Focus, focus. This screen I want to look at. See if it tells me the name of the trigger. Goodness. It doesn't even have the trigger. Let's see the puffers. Oh, the cord. oh, he's back there. It's a beautiful trigger right there. It don't look like any trigger right there. Same info. Oh, it's like silver, but with purples and pinks. But there's the porcupine puffers in the tree. No, this has got to be salt water because it's got. This screen's obviously not working. It's got a porcupine puffer, so I don't think this can be. This has got to be a saltwater. Right there. The porcupine puffer's cruising in the trees. Maybe he recognizes me and he'll come out. I'm here enough. We'll get the trigger in a minute. I was hoping it was on the information screen, but the puffer's not even on that either. Oh, there's a stingray. Oh, that's it. I think that's it. Queen trigger? That sure does look like it. Where is it? Right there. Yeah. Right there? Look. Yeah, I think that's the queen trigger. Queen trigger it is. Finally looked it up. And our porcupine puffer is in the trees today. He's in those branches. There's a stingray. Trying to see if he'll come out and swim out here. There's the trigger fish. Clean trigger it is. Porcupine puffers just hanging out in the trees today. Pretty cool. Some big fish in there. You can put it in the backpack. Oh, here he comes. Here comes the puffer. He's cruising out. I'm walking. Puffer's cruising along. There's the stingray. Stingray's being silly.
stingray. Going stingray. over right now? Yeah. Three. Stingray too. I love that one. And the queen, the trigger finish. This is the dive with the sharks area. And it looks like there's some people getting ready to go in there. Probably watching the safety video or something. But they're getting ready to go with the dive with the sharks. And there's an underwater viewing section we'll show you a little later. Three or four sharks in there. Not a whole lot. I think they should put a lot more fish in there. But they're getting ready. I still think they don't have enough, enough fish in there. That was a close up. I can shoot, I can shoot right over there. Our trail leads this way. Into the jungle room. See if the little, I don't know, marmosets are out. Oh, they're out today. There's one up there. The common marmoset. Oh, this guy's. Yeah, he's gonna jump somewhere. He's trying to figure out. He's like, where do I go now? Where are you gonna go, little dude? Where's he going? Oh, this guy's going. He's coming for a close-up. The beaver is out now. When we were down there, he wasn't there. He disappeared when he comes back out. There he is. He's building a dam. Somewhere. Right over there. He's building the dam somewhere. And there's the slot zone. Yeah, there you go. That must go somewhere. Yeah, that was cool to see. We caught him. We even looked down there though, where all those people are. We were down there and we remembered to look to see if he was in there and we didn't see him. Probably because it goes somewhere under this. Splash zone waterfall. This guy might stay in that bubble all the time. Is this where the beaver was? That'd be cool to see him in one of these bubbles. I'm not sure if that's where he goes, but... Longer Lake. The Lake of Bass over there. Oh, 
Bass Fishing Hall of Fame. More inductees on the wall. You used to be able to take a shortcut right here, but they did some construction. Because I think a lot of people would bypass this whole area, probably. So they redid it to where you have to go through this area now. Is my guess. Is that your guess? My guess is a lot of people weren't walking this way. I liked it better when it was Wednesday. Yeah, not so many people when we came on Wednesday. We come to this huge panel with some huge catfish in it. Got some catfish. Look at this fish up there with its mouth open. It's crazy. might not have stay It's a big fish in here, that's for sure. That guy's huge. Huge blue catfish. A quick little pan at the jellyfish. There's quite a few people in this jellyfish room, so just gonna walk through and get you a, a view of it. And now we're into uh, Shark Alley. Shark Jaws here. And we're gonna swing past this too. Oh, she did not swing past this. But this is the under viewing, I guess, the underwater viewing of the dive with the shark zone. And if I can zoom in enough, you can see the white helmet, so there's four people down in there. Diving with the sharks right now. They're in the cage. I don't know where all the sharks are. There comes a shark. Oh, staying over there. There's a stingray. Sharks are hiding. Oh, there oh, is. Went right next to the cage. Oh, this guy's coming over here. Oh, there's one too, right there. It's going right over him. That's a grouper. Huge grouper. I got this thing's huge. Never have done anything like that. Would be pretty cool. Stingray. Shark. I've counted three sharks in here. There's another shark and then there's that big one. I think there's three sharks in here. There's two in the same picture right there, same video, and there's a stingray. So the bottom side, I dive with the sharks. So if you got a big party, or you don't want to dive with the sharks, you can watch them from underneath. Pretty cool. Entering the seashells of the world now. Tons of seashells, different shapes, sizes, colors. There is a bunch. Life in the dark. If you look closely, you see you can see the lights flashing. Do you see any? Oh, down there, the flashlight fish. Seashells, mangrove, jelly. Upside down jellyfish. Upside down jellyfish or something. They stay on the bottom? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. And then we got some huge, 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 huge seashells over here with some tiny ones. Pretty cool. She's on to see if we can see the baby octopus out 
here today. Ghost shrimp in there. I'm not sure if you can see them because they're ghosts. Check these out. You're good. And, uh, baby octopus is right over there. Baby octopus. It's out a little bit more. You can see it there. Pretty cool. Octopus there. Starfish. The giant Pacific octopus, well, but it's a baby. Out. They had a mirror last time, but it's up a little higher today. So you can kind of see it, but little baby octopus. Pretty cool. And we got some crabs over here. And one crab. One crab over there. Oh, one crab right here. We got the two beavers sleeping again, or still. That's where they were a few days ago. One's moving. We got it just in time. Sleeping there, though. Yeah, there's no way that one area connects to this. See if we see the albino gator today. We're going into Al Alligator Alley. Going down some stairs. I'm just interested in the gator on this side. So we're going. There it is. Oh, its eyes are open. The albino gator's eyes are open today. Oh, he's, like, oh, I saw you he opened his eyes just to see me. He's like, I saw you coming. I'm We're going to go up here and see if the big gator's out today or not. Pardon, pardon the bounciness. Is he out today? Uh, I don't see him today. I don't see the big gator today. Don't see the big gator today. Guess we'll see if we see the bear next. No big gator. No river otter in there. What? Toad. Toad? Let's see what the bears out here. Bear is sleeping over there. Where it is most of the time. That we see it. It's just sleeping. Hibernating. Taking a siesta. There's an alligator. Might be the closest this guy's Maybe he's cold. He's getting some heat. Those guys are hanging out in the water. I think so too. 
And now we're heading into the stingray petting zone, which is the last area of the aquarium. This is the final stop in the aquarium at the huge cylinder fish tank and the stingray petting zone. Oh, there's a shark too right there. Which you can pet those guys too. I don't know if you can hear me because they're talking, but it is loud in here. So there's the shipwreck room we're in at the bottom. out into the gift shop where they got shirts hats coffee mugs cups toys probably magnets oh yeah there's some magnets right there stuffed animals pretty good sized store and that's where you exit out mermaid on a turtle That's going to wrap up our date day from the Wonders of Wildlife Aquarium and the National Museum. So, had a great time. Did you have fun? Yeah, there's too many people. There was lots of people today on a Saturday, but still enjoyed ourselves walking through there. So, if you would, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Consider becoming a member. Check out all our other videos. Thanks for all the support. And with that, we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Adding some bonus footage. We got the penguins down here from the Nat National Museum exhibit. But this tube goes all the way down to the Fishtails Cafe here at the bottom. Some bonus footage for you. Some penguins swimming them down here. Oh, there's one. Pretty cool how they can come down here.